everybody what is up welcome back to my channel i am so happy you're here today is vlogmas day 23. if you're new here hi i'm maddie i'm a k-35 stem teacher and ed tech coach in los angeles i post weekly tech tutorials for teachers and i've been posting a new video every single day for the past 23 days now and i have two more days left in vlogmas yeah! Uh, so today's video is actually going to be a book review. Now I love read alouds. I also love to read books myself. So I'm really excited for today's video. I'm going to be talking about my top three STEM read alouds. So like I said, I'm a K through five STEM teacher and I really love incorporating read alouds into my teaching. I think it's a really fun way to get students engaged in STEM because as we know, elementary students love read alouds. So like I said, I'm gonna be giving my top three STEM book recommendations for teachers. Even if you're not a STEM teacher, you can still incorporate these read alouds into your classroom. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so my first book recommendation as a STEM read aloud is this book here called How to Code a Sandcastle. It's by Josh Funk, and it's also created by Girls Who Code, which if you aren't familiar, is one of my favorite coding organizations to help get young girls engaged in STEM. So before I go into my review of this book and why I think it's really great, as a STEM read aloud, I do want to read what's inside the cover here. All summer, Pearl has been trying to build the perfect sandcastle, but out of control frisbees and mischievous puppies keep getting in the way. Pearl and her robot friend Pascal have one last chance, and this time they're going to use code to get the job done. Using fundamental computer coding concepts like sequences and loops, Pearl and Pascal are able to break down their sandcastle problem into small, manageable steps. If they can create working code, this could turn out to be the best beach day ever. With renowned computer science nonprofit Girls Who Code, Josh Funk and Sarah Palacios use humor, relatable situations, and bright artwork to introduce kids to the fun of coding. As the inside sleeve of this book suggests, this is a really great way to introduce students to introductory computer concept, computer science concepts. So for example, kids will learn about things like loops, sequences, and above all, I think it's just a fun way to help engage students in coding, to help them realize that you can use computer science to do tasks in the world around you. And kids also just love that a robot in this book is actually building sandcastles. And then eventually at the end of the book actually builds a kingdom. So like I said, I really love this book. I think it's a really great example of a high quality STEM read aloud. So if you haven't checked out this book, I'm going to have a link to it in the video description down below. And I'd recommend introducing it to your students if you are wanting to explore uh, you know, teaching computer science in your classroom. And even if you aren't going to introduce computer science, I do think it's just a nice way to help kids realize that this world of computer science exists and help them figure out ways that they can use computer science as a force for good. All right, so my second favorite STEM read aloud book is this book here called If I Built a School by Chris Van Dusen. Now, if you haven't heard of this book before, I'd highly recommend you check out this author's work in general. There are so many really great uh, STEM read alouds. What I like about this book is it might not necessarily come to mind as a STEM book, but I like to use it to introduce a maker challenge to my students where they actually build their own, you know, ideal or dream school. So I'm going to read the inside sleeve of this one, just like I did the previous one. So it says, sure to inspire budding inventors. If Jack built a school, there would be hover desks, pop-up textbooks, skydiving wind tunnels, a robo chef, and a whole lot more. The creative kid who described his ideal ride and house in previous books, including the E.B. White Read Aloud Award winner, If I Built a Car, is dreaming even bigger this time. So that's a great reminder that, like I said, if you haven't checked out If I Built a Car, that's another really great example. But for this video, I said I would only choose three. So I just wanted to show this one example from this author. But I think that especially in this school year, this 2020, 2021 school year, this is a great book to introduce to your students as we begin to rethink what education looks like. This can be a nice way for students to actually have agency and ownership over their learning. You can allow them to 
you know, you can read this book as a class basically, and then you can introduce a STEM challenge where they actually designed their dream school. So I really like this book, like I said, as a read aloud. And if you want to check it out, I, I will be sure to include a link to it in the video description down below. All right. And last but not least is this wonderful, wonderful book called CC Loves Science. I love this book. It is just such a wonderful way to talk to your students about science. Kids love this book. Cece asks such inquisitive questions. The back of the book here, it says that Cece loves to ask questions about the world. Cece loves to figure out how things work and why, because Cece loves science. So if you have students in your class who are inquisitive, this is a great, great book to introduce them to how science can allow you to make sense of the world around you. Uh, like I did for the last two, I am going to read the inside of the book so you can get a little preview here. So it says, this is Cece. Cece loves science. Cece is curious. Cece wants to know how, why, when, what if. What will Cece discover in her lab today? Turn the page to find out. So what's really cool about this book is that Cece is a student just like the students in your class. You know, she wrestles with the same types of science questions that your students are wrestling with. And so I think it's just a nice way to remind students that kids can engage in science and kids can be scientists too. Um, so again, a really great example of a read aloud that you can do with your students to help promote STEM in your classroom. So thank you so much for watching today's video. If you liked these three STEM recommendations, please let me know. If you have other books that you really like, also let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to hear what your favorite STEM read alouds are. And if you liked this video, let me know. I love read alouds, like I said at the beginning of this video. So I'd be happy to do more, um, even more STEM related books or other concepts. So you can let me know in the comments down below. If you liked this video, you can also let me know by giving me a thumbs up and subscribing to my channel if you're not already. And I will see you back here soon. Bye friends.